Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Travel Mole interview, and I'm delighted to have uh, Mark Anderson, who's the President and CEO of Visit San Antonio. For those of you not aware, Visit San Antonio is a very, very important destination this year in the travel calendar for the entire globe that are interested in travelling to the USA. Mark, we spoke before, it's 40 years almost since I was in San Antonio. What's new? So, Graham, you're going to have to come back because lots have changed in the past 40 years. So, San Antonio, many of you may not know, is the seventh largest city in the United States. Uh, we are home to the only UNESCO World Heritage Site um, in the state of Texas. We are also only one of two UNESCO World Heritage City of Gastronomy. Uh, we are affectionately referred to as the culinary capital of Texas. And we're going to be hosting United States Travel Association's IPW conference for the first time in our history this May, May 20 through 24, 2023 in San Antonio. I think most people, when they think of San Antonio, the immediate thought is the Alamo, Davy Crockett hats, that sort of thing. But obviously there's a lot more to it than that. I'm not, I'm not dissing the Alamo, but there's a lot more to San Antonio than the Alamo, isn't there? Well, there's a $480 million uh, reimagination and expansion happening at the Alamo, taking it back to the original footprint of the Alamo um, that many of your readers and your listeners will be able to experience this May during IPW. The entire concept will be done by 2026. Um, but we are home to the number one destination in all of Texas, which is our beautiful Riverwalk, which in 2015 was um, renovated to expand to the museum reach and the mission reach, so all 18 miles of it are now accessible. So whether it's our history, our culture, our diversity, our food, um, or our growth and evolution that, uh, that uh, your listeners can experience, we're, we're inviting them to come to San Antonio. Um, whenever they can, we're a year-round destination of sun and great warmth as well. One of the things, even though it's 40 years ago, that I remember that struck me, apart from the Alamo, was the was the influence of uh, of Mexican culture of you know southern, not southern as in deep south, but southern American culture, and the food. The food was just to die for, really. I'm sure that hasn't got worse. Uh, no, it's gotten better. We are, you know, we're a home to and the, to the birthplace of Texas, and really for many in the United States, we're a 305-year-old city that celebrates our Hispanic heritage. We are 64 percent, 64 percent of our population are of Hispanic heritage. So not only can you find wonderful Mexican food, but Tex-Mex is where uh, Tex-Mex cuisine, San Antonio created Tex-Mex cuisine. But we also are celebrate our culinary, our German heritage, um, our Asian population, our Indian population, our black American population. And again, um, uh, you can experience that anytime, but you'll definitely get to experience it during US Travel's IPW this May. The other thing that I was going to bring up with you that um, I think people would, would want reassurance is that San Antonio is a very inclusive destination. You've mentioned black Americans, you've mentioned African Americans, you've mentioned Mexicans. I'm assuming that the entire culture is one of inclusivity. Absolutely. Our culture was based on D, E, and I, which obviously all of America and the world has been talking about over the past few years. But based on the fact that 64% of our population of our Hispanic heritage, we also are home to one of the largest ratios of LGBT communities in all of the United States. Um, we also have a rich Jewish community. We have a rich black community. Uh, we have many different, you know, every denomination and religious um, affiliation is represented in San Antonio. So indeed, the entire world is welcome to our city. Finally, the other thing that I remember from all that distance past was music. There was a sort of an omnipresence of music. I know Austin is very well known for music, but my memory of music in San Antonio was always a good one. At the end of the day, it's all about culture, arts, and experiences at San Antonio. And that includes the music scene, so you could find Tejano music, country music, music of all types including blues, jazz, etc. 
And also, at the end of the day, it's enjoying that music with a great meal um, at one of our 100 new restaurants that have opened since the, the beginning of the pandemic. Or also maybe having a craft brew or a tequila drink on our river walk. So um, we are looking for all of Europe to enjoy um, San Antonio and experience us, experience our growth, our evolution, but in the same time experience the wonderful history of our 305-year-old city. Mark, thank you very much, and I wish you the very best of luck with IPW. Thank you, Graham, and I'm ex excited to showcase the city to you after 40 years of this name. <laughs> Good man. Take